And the pendulum goes back and forth, and it certainly has that potential to this right here in the Hunter Freestyle for Cali to come back and take advantage of the king, Caleb Dressel. Look at Dressel already with that lead. Almost a body length at the 50 of this 100. 21-8. There are a couple guys that didn't even go that fast in the 50 yesterday. He is really out there. And I was on the feet, Rowdy. <laughs> on the feet, exactly. Dressel's going to win it, but the goal here, just trying to hold on to your points, folks, because Dressel's coming after him. He's going to get the win. Zach Apple, a much better performance. That'll help out DC as he winds up third. That's a, that's the biggest surprise for me. It wasn't so, believe it or not, I'm not real surprised about Dressel. Yep. I'm more shocked about Kyle Chalmers not being in this event. He was brilliant on their relays yesterday. He only swam two relays, but he led off with a 45-6. Was faster than anybody else on any relay on the freestyle, even with a flying start. So him not being in here, he's only on one relay right now. That could change, but right now only one relay. Tokyo Spajari leads Ress. Leads Moresi. Moresi's won this event three times. It was Justin Rest who took the title in the 50 freestyle yesterday as Caleb Dressel elected to swim the 200. I am looking at Spachari racing home. This is anybody's battle. It might be Scott, and it is Duncan Scott Nakamura. The first two wins of the day. And with that lower rating and Chalmers' fast time, the jackpot time of 1.8 seconds could be in play here. So it might be an opportunity for London to pick up some decent points. That, that's a lot of room, though. You know, 1.8, and, and even though this is a low rated, the lowest rated is only 36. So we don't go that deep on the rating here. So you can kind of see everybody's right there. But you're right, Bernie. The red started popping up just at the 50 alone. Chalmers running away with this, making it look easy. Now does he kind of settle in and back off a little bit? No, he won't do that. He's going to go all out here, try to get as many jackpot points as possible. By stealing the points right now from Inserti. Chalmers is going to get the win. We'll see how many points he hauls in. Thirty-nine thousand aggregate rating. One of the highest we'll see. One of ten events on the program that are rated over thirty thousand, and almost ten thousand of that, a third of that, is Hahi, who is in lane number four. Well, on the right side of the screen, Abby Weitzel in the blue suit trying to keep pace, but McKeon on the left in lane number two looks good, staying with Hahi, but it is all Shavon Hahi the first fifty. Yeah, 24-4 going out, but everybody's real tight right there. There are five swimmers under 25 going out that first 50. Hai leading with 25 meters to go. Energy standard expected to score 13 points in this 100 freestyle. Can they open up the day with a big win? Can they open up the day with a 1-2 finish? Indeed, Hahi's going to get it done. The scoring on day two has just begun for Javon Hahi. Classic, the only winner in these eight lanes. Brown's another one that kind of flies on that under the radar a little bit. She's a great role swimmer. She hasn't stepped up to win those events, but she has been consistently in the top four throughout her career, and that helps a lot when you have those middle points and not get jackpotted. She'll be there for you, especially on the relays. And talk about somebody to be there for you is also Natalie Hines. But Simonova on the left side. Talk about the versatility of uh, Siobhan Hahi. Simonova very similar going all the way down to the 100. And she's got the early lead up there at the top of the screen in lane number two. And she was second in the 400 freestyle yesterday, so you know she's going to have enough to get home. And I'm not sure they were even looking at her way up there. Iron trying to surge there. So strong on day number two. Can Simonova hold off the field? She can. Oh, no, Brown! Brown.
Rossick looked great yesterday in the 50, getting second to Shoystrom, 23-3, breaking her national record. Ahi will definitely come back on the second half. Shoystrom and Ahi are due to swim the 50 skins together. That is dangerous for the rest of the teams here because they are so good in the skins. And you see with a slight edge, it's Ahi in lane number four. It's Shoystrom now It's going to have to come off the pace. She's 25-1. She was fourth at the 50. And Anna Hopkin all the way on the right side in lane number eight. Something really good for DC. You talked about the DC Tritons with a chance for a top two finish as well. And Hopkin trying to get in there. But at the moment, it's Hoggy trying to get the 100 freestyle, trying to win it for the eighth time. Look at Joyce from close. And Energy Standard goes 1-2 in the 100 freestyle led by Hoggy.